Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tracy, and if you don't know me, I have a passion for upcycling clothing and I teach sewing on here. This is the final part of making the Witcher Halloween costume, so I suggest you guys watch part one where I teach you how to make Yennefer's costume as well as Geralt's. I hope you guys had a great Halloween. I just wanna give a huge thanks to Gothica. They were the ones who sent me these contact lenses, Purple Tempest. These are like the perfect witch eye contact lenses. I feel like I should just have some powers right now. They sent me dragons breath for Geralt's costume because he has like those yellow orange golden eyes um, so my boyfriend looked so perfect in them we got so many compliments like the whole night without the gothica contact lenses I don't think our costumes would have been as good as they were it was my first time putting in contact lenses and they are very easy to apply I did have to get used to them because I've like never worn contacts other than that they were quite comfortable the whole night I just want to thank them for sending these contacts they really made our Halloween costumes over the top I give another shout out to cosplay pros because they sent me all of the materials for Geralt's costume and I am very happy with the final product. I will go ahead and link these contacts and the supplies used for the costume from cosplay pros as well as other things found on Amazon such as my rivets and like tools. I hope you guys enjoy these final looks and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe. I flew back to California and I was able to use my engineering high school professor's 3D printers to print the sword and the pendants for my costume, so thanks Diodati. I thrifted a black blouse, finally I was able to find one at the thrift store to make Yennefer's top, so I just kind of like cut half the shoulder off so um, it would like sit off the shoulder if that makes sense and then um, this top had like some lace on it which I did not really like how it was sewn on because the eyelash portion of the lace was on the inside like facing the inside so I just seam ripped it and removed it and I was just going to like re-sew it on the right way which the eyelash should face um, so I went ahead and just took it to my overlock machine and just like um, overlocked some elastic at the back of this top just so it would like stay on After I added the elastic, I just placed the lace back where I wanted it and I'm just doing this like pivot and turn method and just zigzagging it on so it looks very crisp and clean and then I just took some pinking shears to trim off the excess fabric under the lace. And this top took so long to complete, um, so here is where I started like sewing on the feathers one by one. It was so tedious to do this, I had to just like place a feather and just go in with my sewing needle and some thread and just hand base it in. And I did this too many times, I went over again with like another layer to kind of make it a little bit fuller around the top. I overlocked the hem of the top because I made it a bit shorter and then I just folded it once and just did a like really small hem. After finishing the hem, I just went in on the top of the blouse with some quarter inch double fold bias tape and encased the feathers so it would give it a clean finish at the top and I hand sewed some ribbon to tie at the front. So happy to be done with that blouse. I was working on it like on and off for like three days. Came back to California for personal reasons because my sister left for the reserve so I was just helping out with my niece and since I was home I decided to make her Halloween costume so I picked up like an old Halloween costume from the thrift store. She wanted to be Elsa and this costume was like for a seven-year-old and she is almost three so I kind of just made a whole new design for her and she completely loved her final costume. She was so happy that I finally made her a dress. My 3D prints turned out so perfect so for the Witcher pendant I went ahead and just took some silver metallic spray paint and just spray painted the front and the back to have like a good base for this necklace before I went in with the details. And for Yennefer's pendant, I went in first with black spray paint and then I went in over with like some silver to kind of give it more of like a charcoal color. I went in with a clear coat to give it a glossy finish. I glued the 3D printed sword together because it like printed in separate pieces. So I did my best to sand that glued down, but it was kind of hard so you can kind of see like where the sword was glued together. I just went in with some primer and some silver spray paint to give it a good base. 
and then I just went in with some black acrylic paint that was diluted with some water just to like give the pendant those like details um, and which really helped and then I went in with some like silver and gold paint to give it some highlights and it really like made a huge difference on the pendant and it made it look like more of a real pendant versus like some plastic. And for Yennefer's pendant, I just went in with some like purple acrylic paint and filled in that like star on the inside and then I just went in with some black acrylic to kind of just like make some shadows around the star to give it a little bit more depth and some silver paint to sh make it like shine a bit more. For the sword, I just applied that same technique of the black acrylic paint as I did on the pendant and added those like silver and gold highlights. The glue really bothered me on the sword, but I, it was just meant to take pictures in so um, it wouldn't be that noticeable from afar. But I put so much time into this and it was my first time making a weapon and it sucked that um, when it got shipped to New York it broke. I was able to re-glue it but then it broke a second time when it was like actually on his back. Um, but yeah, this was one of those things that just didn't really work out and it's okay. Maybe the next time I make a weapon it'll turn out better. This is what both of the pendants looked like when finished. I went to the thrift store and was able to find some like old necklaces so I used that chain and I used some leftover ribbon to create like that choker. And I took a break to help my parents harvest their vineyard. Since I'm always in New York, this was so nice to be able to like spend time with my parents as well and just help them out with their vineyard. Got on a plane the next day and this is Thursday so my boyfriend's just helping me put in rivets into the armor which took so long because there was like 550 of them. Every rivet was applied one by one because you have to like push the prongs in at the back and there's like four of them so it just took forever for every single rivet. We spent all of Thursday doing that and the next morning I ended up just gluing the shoulder panels together so I had this one big shoulder piece like Geralt has on his armor and it turned out so perfect. I was so happy with this piece and the cuffs looked amazing with the rivets. It honestly made this costume like 10 times better once I added all the rivets. I just take a pen and mark where I'm going to place that leather trim so it can slide into the buckle on the front armor piece. I'm just taking my box cutter and doing a slit at both sides of the shoulder piece. I place that leather trim right inside that slit so I have a little bit of like seam allowance at the back so I can glue it down with the hot glue and then I mark a rivet placement. And this just added that extra detail so it kind of looked like that like leather trim was attached with a rivet and I'm just pushing down the prongs and taking the hot glue and just doing a small bead and pushing down this trim. And since the corners were squared I just kind of cut a triangle shape. And I made more leather fasteners for the front of the armor and I'm just adding some velcro to the cuffs so they can attach onto his arms. As you can see those are like the leather fasteners I made on the side also of the armor and now I'm just attaching some belt loops. Since this was my first time making armor, I was very pleased with the overall product and the costumes are finally done. So my boyfriend's just showing off his dance moves, but I was very proud of how it turned out. As you can see, you can kind of see like the sword in the back, so he's wearing it, but like the bottom part broke, um, but you'll see. Um, but I was very happy with how they turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed these costumes and thank you so much for watching.